Hey, what up guys and gals? Jesse here from Long Lost Robots. This next song is as old as it gets with my songwriting career. Uh, this song is easily 24 years old. Uh, it was written with my cousin Gino, who wrote all the music. Uh, I played bass and sang, of course. Um, as songwriters, we need to be able to direct artists into the right direction, right? Uh, my cousin was extremely talented and his guitar playing skills were very original. Uh, but he had a hard time linking all of his ideas together. He tended to kind of just mesh them all together and I had to kind of tame that down. When you hear his guitar playing, uh, you will understand what I'm talking about. It's very eclectic, very original. Um, and as songwriters, that's where we come in. We have to rein artists in and tame them down and bring them into the fold and create a song and not just jams, right? At that time, we would play in different guitar tunings uh, and we just experimented a lot with sounds and structures. Uh, and I learned a lot from my cousin. He had a big impact on my guitar playing um, and I'll never forget it. This song was recorded on a four track cassette tape player, Tascam at that. And I remember layering two drum tracks uh, just to get the sound that you're hearing. So there's a regular drum kit and then the percussive drum kit, which we were really into tribal music at that time. Uh, we would bounce the tracks into stereos and did really just whatever it took uh, to get our, our ideas down and finish our songs. Uh, this song is called Hard Water. Let's go. of those guitars. The guitars are singing to you. A little harmony. The bass is watching you. I liked tribal music a lot, like The Doors, Pearl Jam. Yes, I said Pearl Jam. There's those toms. They're like Congos. All the DR770 from Boss, the drum machine. We recorded this in an apartment I had at the time. I was around 18, 19. We'll change the vocals. A little too much of the weed, if you know what I'm saying. Breaks down. Very interesting song. I, I love listen, listening back to it now. It's, it's crazy. It brings back a lot of memories. Good and bad. It brings back the chorus. I can grant you all you wish, all you suffer. I can grant you all your guilt. Your pleasures. All your yeah. What a crazy song. This is amazing to listen to. a lot of experimentation. I think you dive bars at the end. Just dive bars out. <laughs> I can hear that hiss going too. Excellent. What a song. Guys, um, you know, 
when I talk about working with people, um, it can be a very trying experience as songwriters and as producers. Not all artists or musicians are songwriters. Many people can come up with riffs, can come up with parts, can come up with ideas, but they cannot formulate them into a song. And not only that, into a song that people want to hear because it's their song and it's 10 minutes long and it's doing all kinds of stuff and people aren't going to stick around for it. So it's really important as songwriters, as producers, to get to know the artist, learn their strengths, and pick out the little pieces so we can form songs and share them with other people. Anyways, guys, my name is Jesse. Like, subscribe. It really helps grow a small channel like this, and I hope you are making some beautiful music. Take care.